Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Understanding Machines and Correlates with Chapter 11.2 in your textbook. Your key concepts for this video are, what does a machine do? What are the six simple machines? How does a machine make work feel easier? And what is mechanical advantage? So first off, let's talk about a machine. A machine is simply a device that makes work easier. When I say machine, you might think about something like this with lots of moving parts or maybe a computer. These are what's known as a compound machine because there's multiple machines making up this bigger machine. You can have slightly simpler compound machines like a can opener. You've got a lever, wheel and axer, axles, you've got wedges. You can have an even simpler compound machine. You've got your wedge here and a lever and an axe to the simplest of machines, which is called a simple machine. Yes. A doorstop is actually a machine. It's a wedge. Six simple machines. Just like I said, we have wedges, screws, pulleys, wheels and axles. If you don't remember your six simple machines, I just told you four, please make sure that you go and look over chapter 11.3 and 11.4 or watch some of the videos that I've linked in the description. It'll help you remember what they are and be able to identify examples of them because that's something you need to be able to do. So let's talk about how machines make work easier. There's three things that they can do. One is they can change the amount of force needed to do the work. Two, they can change the distance over which work is done. Here it takes a longer distance to get up than it would just to lift it straight up. And they can change the direction of the force. So you might be pushing down, but the force is going out to the side or you're pulling down and the force is going up. This is all changing the direction of the force. Please remember, machines do not change the amount of work that's done. There's still going to be force and there's still going to be distance and it's still going to equal the same amount of force. It just makes it feel easier. Now, the way we describe how things feel easier is with mechanical advantage. A mechanical advantage is simply the ratio of the output force to the input force. Output force is what's going out of the machine, and the input force is what you're putting into the machine. And the way we represent this mathematically is mechanical advantage equals output force divided by input force. So here I'm pushing the box up the ramp. The output force is pushing up. Here I push down on the lever, output force is going up. Pulley I pull down, output force, the pulley pulls it up. So with mechanical advantage, there are three things you need to know about it. If the mechanical advantage is greater than one, it means that that simple machine is a force amplifier. But because we can't change the amount of work, that means the output distance is less. So think about a screwdriver. Here I'm turning the screw uh, and what it's doing is it's amplifying the amount of force pushing that screw into the uh, wood. However, I have to put that distance over more when I'm putting it in because the screwdriver is going to cover less distance itself. So it's a force amplifier. If mechanical advantage is less than one, that's a distance amplifier, but the output force is less. So think about lifting something with a shovel. Your fulcrum points here at the end, you're putting effort here. Your distance is a short amount, but the longer distance of the machine is much bigger. Or like a tricycle, if your feet are pedaling in a smaller distance, but the big wheel is turning in a bigger distance. However, the output force is less. You have to pedal a lot to get that wheel to go pretty far. There's also mechanical advantage that equals one. This is simply when you're just changing the direction that the force is applied. That's it. Be sure your notes hit all the key concepts and vocabulary, and feel free to try this challenge question.